What's up YouTube? I thought I should really make a bit of an updated video on what I've been using this Leto Color. I'm going to say that's how we start. S1. Uh, awesome little multi-purpose charger for NICAD, NIMAD, lithium, uh, lithium-ion phosphate, everything from 10 440s up to 26 650s. I've had it plugged into this cheap charge controller the whole time, which has just got one 250 watt solar panel on it. Connected to these sealed lead acids and a car battery under the bench. It's just perfect for uh, charging up these cells. So it's a 30Q in there. As I pull them out of packs and things like that in the shed, every time I come out of the shed, which is normally in the morning, normally over night time, when I get home from work and normally before bed because I come out here and charge all my uh, plug-in Milwaukee stuff as you can see still nothing plugged into the uh, only power point in the shed I uh, charge it all off the solar and off-grid system out here so that's how we do that it's um, not super fast charge wise but I know it's safe so the best part is I can put a cell in there I know when I come home it'll say full or whatever and uh, nothing go wrong if I'm in a hurry or whatever it doesn't really matter because it doesn't matter which way you put it see it measures it works out the polarity before it fires up away it goes So nice and safe. That cell's been sitting there a long time. Let's see what that one does. It stops. It detects its voltage. The way it starts charging, just like that. And all off the solar. So that's straight off that solar charge controller. So that will run until it gets to a predetermined voltage of about 11.6 when it's getting to the point of too low and uh, that'll ensure that my housemate it's, uh, phone charger and all that kind of stuff keeps going for the night and uh, it'll turn off this and turn off its that's the main light that's normally on in the shed it'll turn that off little 10 watt LED work light they both turn off and um, then when the sun comes out and the voltage gets up to above 13.2 I think it was predefined in this 13.2 they uh, kick back in and this thing charges right up to 14.4 so every day when the uh, sun comes out we hit 14.4 again and uh, it's self-sustaining I don't have to do anything with it it runs my housemate's fan it runs his couple of lights he's got a couple of LED work lights it's got a few different kinds of USB chargers for phones and uh, his music box, JBL boombox thing. So that's all run off USB, so that's all, it's all ran for free. Um, awesome setup. It's all free power for us. And this little beast, which is in the video description, there's a Banggood affiliate link for that in the top of the description. They're not the cheapest, but they're certainly a great option if you wanted to make like a bank of five of them. I'm seriously considering buying, say, so five of them, putting them in a bank like that on that board like I did with these chargers. The problem with these is they're horrible to get the cells in and out of. And they, once they, um, once the cell's in there, you actually have to reset the whole lot of them before they'll start charging again. So that's a bit of a pain in the bum. Uh, I probably it was a good idea at the time but I probably wouldn't do the same thing again with that one these little things, awesome just throw the cell in there, any direction any charge state all that kind of thing and away they'll go they'll start charging so yeah, shout out to Bang Good for sending me this little boost single cell charger micro USB in and it charges at 
500 to 1,000 milliamps. So a minimum of an amp needs to come out of your uh, USB that you plug into it, which that one does. They're actually pretty good. I should really have my new meter from IC station plugged into that to see how many amps we pull out of it. But then again, measuring it at 5 volts, is uh, it's going to be a lot of amps pretty quick. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe buttons, more videos. Affiliate link to buy that. Top of the video description. Cool little thing, they're only cheap. And uh, like if you've got a device that uses 18650s and uh, you want something nice and safe to charge them with, torches, whatever, it's a really cheap option. Use your phone charger to power it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next video.